There might actually be a business in that. And this Give is the problem. Her. Ben comes up with too many good ideas. We have a successful YouTube channel here. Box up to the bear statue. He's like checking out. He's like, no sniffing. way. It looks my- like me. We go, who broke all the tables? There's an outline of Evan <laughs> on the tables with a Evan. tag that says dis Evan. <laughs> all of our kids one day are going to be like, daddy, am I a meme? <laughs> <laughs> Huge thank you to ShipStation for sponsoring this week's podcast. If you guys have been listening, you know that we love ShipStation. It's crucial to our fulfillment process. And as the holiday season ramps up, it's going to be our clutch partner to get your orders out as fast as possible. Here at Seaboys TV, we are customers for life. We love ShipStation and how easy it is to use. Seriously, guys, look no further than ShipStation. Whether you're shipping from your home or from your warehouse, let your customers shop risk-free this holiday season with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code wide open today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code wide open. I love using Harry's razors, and I really think you guys will too. I like to keep my beard trimmed up, and I'm fortunate to have this neck beard that comes in every few days. So a shaver that doesn't irritate my neck is crucial to me. Harry's doesn't stop at shavers, though. They have creams, washes, and lotions that will keep your skin healthy and hydrated. There really is no reason to not try using Harry's, and they're offering a no-risk free trial. And if you don't like your shave, no worries. It's on them. Get your best shave ever with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just 3 bucks at harrys.com slash wide open. That's harrys.com slash wide open for a $3 starter set. Thanks for sponsoring the podcast, Harry's. What's up, guys? Today's podcast is sponsored by Marine Layer. I love wearing Marine Layer whenever I'm going out on the town, and I'm thankful that I'm investing in a super soft wardrobe that will actually last. I think we can all admit that the perfect tee can be hard to find, so look no further than Marine Layer. For a limited time, get 15% off with the code WIDEOPEN15 at marinelayer.com. That's code WIDEOPEN15 for 15% off your entire order at marinelayer.com, saving your closet one shirt at a time. Thanks, Marine Layer. So I got demoted to back over here then? No, there's no such thing as demotion. I just like to switch it up. Felt so, nice over there, though. So is this the best seat then? If yeah. the farther you go that way is a demotion? Well, I don't know now that we got you two over there. Well, I haven't sat next to Ryan in ages. I don't Honestly, I don't know if I ever have. People get mad when we switch it up. Really? Oh. Yeah, so get pissed. Yeah, okay, there's actually, like a, a sense of, you know, coming back, normalcy. It took me so long to come around to, but CJ was the first one to say it. He's like... Listen, you've always been on top of it as far as YouTube content and how to edit videos and how to make them the retention the best. And I was always like, use a new song every video. Mm. And then you're like, no, no, no. Use a song that's really good and that people can recognize and then make it a part of, you know, Danny Duncan has this boom, 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 whatever. You know, yeah, that's kind of like transition. comforting. And so you yeah. did that. And then I was like, yep, it, I it, see it. I like mm-hmm. the Chinese, the, or the, sorry. Japanese, the little with the mini trucks. That's yeah. my favorite one. Well, there's yeah. a song for every like situation. There I is. Feel like. But then reusing them mm-hmm. was just like good. I was like, man, maybe I should just start like kind of, I should just like pick an outfit or a style <laughs> and stick with it. And I was like, yeah, it's probably not me. But there's something to be said about coming back to the same song, the same outfit, the same hat, the same glasses. And people, they but have an easier time recognizing cartoon. That's probably true to a point. Yeah, like yeah, like you're a cartoon that like never changes outfits. You know, like uh, true. like in Bob's Burgers, they're wearing the same outfits every single day, and there's something to be said about that. Same for Family Guy, whatever. I guess it's kind of different, but like the the super wealthy, high net worth CEOs like Mark Zuckerberg just wears the exact same thing every single day because he doesn't have to think about it. Yeah, isn't yeah. it to like take a decision out of his day or something? Isn't that why he says like he doesn't want to spend any See, mental tasks? But, task. that, but that he seems, also might be an alien, so that's, it's hard yeah, to say, you know? <laughs> but I'm saying like, yeah, I guess me picking an outfit, like again, you guys can probably tell, no decisions are made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, Pants? Yeah, yeah. Shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just grab whatever. But I mean, no, I think there's something to be said about that that repeat style, no matter what it is, people, they, they like to warm up to something and get used to it. Now that we're back to like Carhartt season, you know, where you wear your layers. Yeah. Do you guys wear like a new t-shirt? Obviously you do. A new t-shirt under your sweatshirt every day. Yes. Seems like a waste. Yeah. You got to wear a t-shirt that nobody sees the entire day and then your sweatshirt. I feel like your t-shirt's what gets stinky though. Like yeah, your exactly. sweatshirt, if you it's don't fine. get it dirty on the outside, realistically, it's probably fine. You could wear it. Like you could run a sweatshirt for three, four days in a row. But do you ever rock just a sweatshirt, no t-shirt? No. Barely. No. But that do is... You? Like I get, Never. Yeah, I feel like I get sweaty sometimes. Yeah, that's, I think it's because your skin is straight on, on the fabric of the sweatshirt, which is probably going to heat it up more versus like the uh, shirt's more regular 
regulates your temperature a little bit more maybe nice little science lesson here no, i don't i just pulled that out of sounds nowhere g- but i don't know because I, like I know it. what you're saying like you almost get sweatier just wearing a sweatshirt okay yeah which would no, make you know what it is because it's less layers my, i have a little theory on this when you wear the just a sweatshirt your armpits are not being closed in yeah, fabric. Yeah, so you're just like touching here. skin mm-hmm. on so skin. So you find yourself sweating pretty bad and go like, why am I sweating so bad? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm airing it out. Yeah. yeah. But they, someone needs to make a sweatshirt that you can wear just like a, like a single layer garment. I don't need to double my laundry I think because it, I just like have to make throw those, a t-shirt. They make those, those I mean, like yeah. tight fitting. Like, yeah, it exists. That's but it, true. It looks they just nothing. got a hood basically on a shirt. <laughs> Dude, I just got uh, these cotton sheets a couple months back. Yeah. They're cotton, just full-blown cotton. And I'm like, oh, these are great. It's so soft and they're kind of different. And then I'm like, why do I sweat so bad? Like, like, you know, not, not every night, but... <laughs> Is it? No, oh. I mean maybe, but <laughs> oh, I thought that's where that was going. No, 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 no. I just sweat horrible, and it just reminds me of David being like, you "Can't wear cotton while you're snowmobiling or doing anything for that matter." I'm Bro. surprised you're not rocking silk see, sheets, Mike. I could see for you the record, silk own, sheets. own some silk sheets too. Own some silk pillowcases. I will never not laugh at you talking about the silk sheets at the Airbnb. That shit I was sucked, just dude. remembering it. When he, he goes, ah! you were like, I hardly got any sleep last night. I couldn't even keep my head on the pillow. <laughs> no, I was sleeping around, dude. I fucking hate silk sheets, dude. <laughs> we went in there, we all put our heads on the pillow. Yeah, and we're like, like what? Like, like waiting for him to slide <laughs> off. I mean, I know what you're saying. I, was, is, I could not get comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, for a backstory on that, we have to stay in Airbnbs a lot when we like travel. It had silk <laughs> sheets, which I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. I He's guess. in the master bedroom. Yeah, I'm in, in the mind. master bedroom. It's king size bed all to myself. And <laughs> I like they had silk sheets. I could not keep my head on the pillow. I, so I slept <laughs> terrible. Is that real? Like, it was like you'd put your head on it and just go, yeah, I've never, I've slide. never heard of somebody complaining that. about it's their so, their head I not staying on a pillow. I, bro, I couldn't. It was the first time I've ever. It was heard so that. annoying. I felt like I was like working hard while I was sleeping, trying to keep my shit straight. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I'm a pillow hugger. Like I always throw an arm underneath the pillow, and always. then I sleep on the arm, and then, like I could just sleep on my arm. I don't really? even know if I yeah. need a pillow. You're like a half dog. The time. I, I also could sleep just on my arm if my arm didn't. Then die about two hours in. Oh, dude, you yeah, ever do does. that? Yeah, it does. I wake up I with a like sore arm like, all the time. I feel really? like I'm just cutting yeah. off. Yeah, circulation. And actually, yeah. So if I'm like cutting like it off this. a little bit, I'm like chilling. But I, whenever I wake up and the arm is just like, like wow, fully can, gone. Picture being awake and then cutting off the circulation to your arm until you cannot feel it. Yeah, it's I don't think I can do it. a weird thing. But, but then when you're sleeping, yeah, you like put it down. You're like, dude, how long? <laughs> how much blood did I cut off from this? Yeah, I know. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's because I like toss and turn so much. I'm switching up. I'm I'm left arm to right arm. Wake up in the middle of the night and I'll full on like sit up and spin around and really? then go back down. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm like pretty acrobatic when I'm sleeping. <laughs> you Poor do fart in your sleep a lot, dude. Do I? Yeah, Vegas, yeah. dude. I mean, it was just you and I, so there's no one else to blame it on. Well, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> well, sturdy. that's like, funny, you right? That thing out, man. You, you know, it is. Definitely going to be me because I've never actually even heard you fart, Ryan. Oh, yeah, we which is a <laughs> more disturbing fact. That is a little weird. That man. is fucking weird, dude. I don't know. It's just that like, is weird. It's never been my thing. Farting? No, farting. Never? Farted? I mean, no, I fart. It's bad, but like it, I just, I don't like rip them out, make a bunch of noise. I or, think like go in another room and like. Yeah, that's that, polite. That's so polite yeah, of exactly. you. I appreciate that because Ben and Evan are terrible. Don't they just wrote me in. Don't wrote me in Evan. Are. Do not you wrote are. me in with Evan. We'll be sitting here having a meeting, and you guys are just like, <laughs> we got, we're all packed in like a tight space. Just, I mean, it's just, it just <laughs> no, no. do <Dude, laughs> like, not. You guys just think it's Evan's no big deal. doing it. Evan's doing it. So I, I'm, I'm. I'm doing it to get back at him because he's, oh, oh, like he's doing oh, it in he's doing it in like an evil punished way. By the both of you. <laughs> I was like, dude, there's something going on with my that stomach. That shit was reverberating off on. of a, uh, you know, we work in a tin building. God dang, dude! Like the acoustics of these farts were insane. Yeah, it was falling in a couple of rooms. We gotta get some God. like foam blocks on the walls and shit just for <laughs> oh, yeah. Evans farts, so, man. So the foam is for for acoustics. No, no, to it's absorb. just straight to absorb smell. <laughs> I was talking to sound. Yeah, but yeah. sound <laughs> Dumbass. No, that's <laughs> that is gonna that's absorb the, the industrial smell. exhaust fan is. He's for. on to something though. He's on to something. There might actually be a business in that. Yep. These are the fart absorbers. <laughs> and this is the problem. Her. Ben comes up with too many good ideas. We have a successful YouTube channel here, but yeah. we have all these yeah, great ideas. Fart yeah, fart absorbers. Start, yeah. I mean, like, fart I haven't pads. even I haven't even attempted to start um 
uh, it, keep in mind, it's all patented and the design's done, but I haven't even attempted to start selling the wiener belt because I know it's going to keep me too busy. Yeah, that'll crush. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea, though. Put it in your in your underwear before you go to bed. The the pad or the yeah, like the pad. <laughs> that's just called a diaper, bro. Yeah. No, I mean you're not shitting your pants. I mean, if you're gonna wear a pad down no, there, you it's might it's as like well. Quite just... literally, like a diaper just for the smell. Picture Evan waking up in the middle of the night to go get a snack, and you just you you see him, and he's wearing a diaper. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> It's like a some I can. M&Ms or Quick game of pinball yeah. at 4 a.m. You can see him kind of like do, do a little of this before he opens the fridge. <laughs> little baby. Well, oh what else God. is going on, guys? I don't know. Uh, what about Friendsgiving tonight? Oh, yeah. Do you guys do that? I would, uh, I'm curious. I mean, like a lot of people do Friendsgiving, of course. We have a pretty tight knit group. And yeah, we had to we had to cancel it. it for a couple of years though. Shit was yeah, way we had too much stuff. Yeah, it got way yeah, too I out mean, of hand. We we just paired Friendsgiving with like cool. We can be drunk and destroy things. It's like a mosh pit. I don't it's know. like a Why? Friend, Friendsgiving yeah. mosh because it's fun. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so fun. It was pretty fun back then. We broke a lot of stuff. We're kind of out of our destructive phase. You're right. Like. It was actually after the one year. Basically, we were doing our Friendsgiving. We ate our food. We had our time, and then we were like. Well, last year we destroyed a bunch of stuff. Should we destroy stuff this year? And that's when it actually got out of hand because we planned to do it. Yeah. We even did it in Justin and Megan's house. Yeah. I believe someone jumped through a table. I did. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) I did. I got yelled at for that one, actually. Did you? Well, because it was like Megan and Justin's table. (laughs) And apparently it's it's not accepted to to body slam through the table, I guess, which is bullshit because the year before it totally was. Yeah, it was. So totally- I don't know what happened in that one year where we now- went from our shop to their house. Yeah, I mean, that's essentially that's what happened. <laughs> what happened? How sturdy is your dining room table? Pretty sturdy, honestly. I was going well, to say about to find out. Yeah, <laughs> one, try to break it. Two, uh, the old one, I would have been like, actually, please break it. But CJ purchased yeah. a new one, and it that shit ain't cheap. Yeah, good luck. I don't know if you guys probably hurt yourself. You tried body slamming through that God thing, damn. dude. <laughs> we do owe Randy a lot of plastic chairs. A lot still, of plastic still, chairs. Still, still. still harder to buy than you would think. Yeah, and then we got him a bunch of replacements, and then he left them here, and then they all got broken because we were yeah. like, well, I mean, there's these plastic chairs here. To be fair, we did replace his nice plastic with chairs with ones. used yeah. Wii Fest chairs. He looked yeah. at him, and he's like, what the fuck are these? These are like 25 years old. Yeah, we've probably broken like 100 plastic chairs. Yeah. The The craziest destruction night is when we hit a million subscribers oh yeah all of our friends and family like threw us this party to like celebrate it and they got us this cake that said one million subscribers on it It had our logo on it and everything plastic chairs everywhere tables everywhere got wicked drunk big event the next day that we should have been in bed bright or early for yeah yeah but we just we were celebrating one million, and we're degenerates. Always have been, always will be. What what are what else are you gonna expect when you're throwing a party to celebrate being degenerates? We're gonna True. be degenerates at this party, right? You have to. And boy, did we trash the place! Pop up a picture. Just, yeah, Actually, I, no, can, I just can I you picture kinda, the. I gotta video find of you the video in and the three. It's wheeler. on video, dude. dude. Yeah, when like, the cake comes in, who threw the cake at Ben? I don't know, but that, it was Tint, so electric. Dude, that was funny. Bengus hit with the K. I gotta we find. Like keep it pretty tame until our parents left, and yeah, then we that's did. when well, all yeah. the destruction yeah. happens. Well, we could, and we could not have done that while they were there. They would have. They wouldn't have even tried to discipline. Obviously, we're grown men here, but they would have tried to, or they would Discipl- have been traumatized. What year was no, that? No, they they, they were actually were pretty uh, disappointed just because I guess they had worked hard on the cake. I was like, well, you're gonna either eat the cake or you're not, and then like. Yeah, we broke the tables and the chairs, but I'm pretty sure most of those were ours. Yeah. It's like, we broke a bunch of our own shit. We they were just like, like, but why? And we're like, we're celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was a great, great cake. But if, cool. if I were to make the cake, I would have been almost happier to see, mm-hmm. you know, people getting enjoyment, throwing it around the room. Versus eating it. Yeah, cake's you know? not that good for you. Like, realistically, we were just trying to be healthy. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah, dude, look at this place. Oh, that's, my that's God. That the next morning. That's right, because our date parents on came event? over there to, like, they were going to clean up for us. Because it was kind of their idea to have this party with all of our families and stuff like that. And then they were like, we'll go clean up the shop. And they walked in. And it was they just, just destroyed. And they turned, oh, around, turned right. around and left. They were like, this one's on them. We go, who broke all the tables? There's an outline of Evan on the <laughs> tables with a with this little this tag that says dis Evan. <laughs> just so everyone knows. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was a rowdy night. He was breaking our shit before he was even working with us. 
Let's At least see. he's staying on brand. Time I am proud to see that our friends' givings have really evolved. I think we have a real turkey tonight, right? Yeah, two of them. We used to just go to our college house with as much takeout as we could yeah, find. Yeah, I don't like, like, some like that shit. Chinese, some of them Some of them would get pizza. I'm, it was fun because none of us wanted to cook. I mean, yeah. Me yeah. Too. Yeah. I didn't like it turkey. when we do Alex. Damn. She got two. Well, I bought two of them, and then she's... Alondra's been practicing cooking. Anyway, this is like this is like our Super Bowl, dude. Yeah. What? Well, they like been like making test hits of like all the food. Like, all right, this is gonna be the mashed potatoes. This is the yeah. rolls. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, <laughs> no, I didn't like it when we do that. Like, just bring random stuff because everyone just brings something easy, and then it was just kind of like a bunch of like small things that you just kind of nibbled on a little this, a little that, and then you're just like, I'm still hungry. But there's just like nothing left. Shit. Yeah, exactly. It's just a smorgasbord of shit. Yeah. No, I get it's the like, vibe. Yeah, I but disagree also- with the being hungry thing. Like, I think Stuff. we had plenty of food, but it's that, it's that like, you're picking away. You're not getting, like, you're not the only a thing meal. of substance you're really getting is, like, the pizza that, I mean, yeah, I brought some maybe pizza. Like a, but a slice of pizza or two, but, and then, like, four wings. <laughs> I don't turkey, know, man. though. Two I, I, turkeys, though. CJ's balling out on us. Yeah, that is oh, that's like crazy. Not that much money. It was like 60 bucks, I think. Ooh. So maybe they're shitty. I mean, I think <laughs> you're putting up the most. I guess I, I bought some Tito's and some stuff like that, and it was at that's the store. We actually got The sea store is damn near 60 bucks. Be- we have a shitload of beer and alcohol at the house, actually, because everyone would come over, bring a case to go out on the boat and then oh, yeah. they would we go did. home and leave the case and then I would put it in the fridge. So our garage fridge legit has no way. Like it's fully like no one needs to bring any beer. Oh, that's good to know. So yeah, yeah, because honestly this shit it's gonna go expired. Yeah. Like you gotta there's get rid no of way that. that Ken and I are gonna drink all of it. Come on, Ken. Well maybe I put Ken, a dent but, into uh, it, but Ken, not, like, <laughs> nothing nothing like substantial. Here. Proud of you, Kenny. Ken, maybe maybe everyone bring your own beer. I'm I i do not want to get into Ken's stash now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you bringing, Ken? I have put zero thought into it until about three minutes ago. Yeah. So he's going to bring some tequila. Yeah, I haven't been I thinking about it much on. either. Greta's been actually like on my balls about it. Who's bringing laps like though? The, uh, apparently me and Greta. Okay. Is Greta going to bring it? Because it doesn't seem like you are. <laughs> That's I'm a little confused as to, you know, what this relationship between me and Greta bringing the food uh-huh. looks like now. Because apparently we can't bring takeout. Because CJ's no. gonna have our. That's I don't care true. if you bring. Well, no, I, I don't think, care. I think See, we're doing like a real meal. I'm like, uh, you can. Who's bring... cooking? Am I cooking? Because you guys don't want to eat the food that I'm cooking. No, like no, Alondra's no making some sides. We're making some stuffing. Alex has got the turkey and the mashed potatoes. Angela's bringing drink. Uh, uh, dessert. Dessert. I'm just figuring this out. Apparently, we can't smash tables anymore. Everyone's got to bring home cooked food. Times are like, changing. What the brother? hell is going on, dude? Well, that's only the first part of the night. We'll see what happens. Dude. Well, stay tuned. Huge thank you to ShipStation for sponsoring this week's podcast. If you guys have been listening, you know that we love ShipStation. It's crucial to our fulfillment process. And as the holiday season ramps up, it's going to be our clutch partner to get your orders out as fast as possible. The holidays are the busiest time of the year, so don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting so you and your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends, exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll still have a great experience. ShipStation has a free 60-day trial, easy setup, and once you do join, it is proven that ShipStation will be a good part. 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Here at Seaboys TV, we are customers for life. We love ShipStation and how it saves us up to 84% on USPS and UPS rates. Seriously, guys, look no further than ShipStation. Whether you're shipping from your home or from your warehouse, let your customers shop risk-free this holiday season with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code WIDEOPEN today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code WIDEOPEN. If you guys are selling online and you're not selling on Shopify, what are you guys doing? We've been using Shopify for years and it's our right hand man on getting our products online. Running and growing a business means getting the insights you need wherever you are. With Shopify's single dashboard, you can manage orders, shipping, and payments from anywhere, whether you're on your computer or on your phone. Shopify makes it simple to sell online with easy to design product pages, no coding required, 
And once you have the site live and your product's ready to sell, Shopify makes it easy for you to accept all different forms of payment, even cryptocurrencies. I think we had a guy who bought a shirt with Bitcoin a few years ago, and Bitcoin's up right now, so it doesn't hurt to keep your payment options open. We love using Shopify. You will too. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash wide open yeah Londra was real nervous that her food wasn't being gonna be good i always said we could just feed it to the bear that's been roaming around yeah dude that's a big bear it's a yeah. huge bear i saw one this summer but it was not that same bear wasn't mine okay. was skinny and it was chilling it waved at me it was it was a chiller I thought yeah. it maybe could be the same bear and he's it probably gearing was. up for the season he was over at the cormorant pub too oh really wow. but yeah. keep in so mind he's guys wrong yeah dude. Somebody, Look, he's like up in here like he checked it out and then i saw did. security cam footage of somebody's house on the south side of the lake and he yep. was like chilling in their front yard and really roaming around what was he doing yeah. in the yard big boy dude big boy. so then Why? my hell is he eating so then my next I mean, question is no, look, to get that big. I think what's funny about this video is he, they caught it on security cam. They have like a bear statue out front of their house and he walks up to the bear statue. He's like checking out. He's like, no way. <laughs> he's what? Like, what the fuck's this thing? So it looks my, like me. My question Walks is, away. is that like, so he pulls up to one of the local uh, bar and grills and he's like, no joke at the front door, at the front door. During the like, day or night? Night, night but um damn dude you gotta watch out to get attacked by a bear i know you That's actually from Alaska. so again the guy the bear doesn't seem all that like threatening per se still is a bear i'm just wondering like what's the next move i, I have we live in <laughs> shoot an, it we live in an area where someone will some yeah. old dude just like well he was on my porch i had to shoot him yeah yeah, yeah you're probably like, right i'm just saying i'm it's just getting wondering. shot yeah. yeah it keeps roaming around like this yeah i mean that'd be a good mount <laughs> My dad grew up in northern Minnesota. Uh, Ely's the town. He shot a bear that was going through his garbage when he was a kid. Yeah. and Because it, oh, it just like would always come back and like eat his garbage. Right. So it's know. like. Maybe I really? shouldn't have outed him like that. No, but how often Got is sure. that? How often can Statue that happen before you're like, oh, that's funny. There's a bear there. But like if it's back like uh, 10 nights over a couple months, you're like, all right, somebody's going to get hurt eventually. If the bear decides to be I don't know. aggressive, black bears aren't not, normally aggressive. No, not normally. Back when I was a kid, uh, we used to go up to Ely a lot, and there was this little cabin on the river in the middle of the woods. And this guy, this old guy, would put out uh, big containers full of uh, sunflower seeds mm -hmm. at like the bottom of his yard. And then we would sit up on the deck, and then every single night, like clockwork, seven o'clock would roll around, the sun's going down. And these huge black bears would come in and eat out of the uh, eat these sunflower seeds, right? Damn. And then pretty soon there was this little cub that lived in the tree right next door to the cabin. So the cabin's right here, and there's this big tree, and there was a cub that lived in the tree, and like the mom left or got shot or like something happened to the mom uh, to not be around anymore. So uh, we named it Chucky, and you could feed Classic. Chucky Oreos. What? If you stood at the bottom of the tree with an Oreo in your in your palm, Chucky would come down the tree and like eat the Oreo out of your hand. Are yeah. Oreos good for bears? I don't know. Oh, was that a, it? Probably wasn't a part of like the process. I mean, they eat garbage, so yeah, that's they're true. probably fine. That's yeah. true. Were you remember? Yeah, I remember he swiped at uh, your brother Sam's hand. Probably. Yeah, because he was feeding it and he like swiped at it. It didn't like scratch or nothing. But then we were kind of like, all right. Enough feeding him. <laughs> yeah. Enough fucking with the bear. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I mean, I probably a lot of places in the country, like our buddy Colin from Bemidji, which is more northern than here, he was like, bear sightings get on the news around you guys? Yeah. But, yeah, and he's not I mean, for us, far. it's not that common. They're migrating down towards our area. I like, so there's always been a few around here, but now there's, like, more and more yeah. and more. Taking over. Which is kind of cool, I think. Yeah. Uh, I have a friend that lives in Big Sky, Montana. And he was in his house, and all of a sudden, his car alarm started going off. So he looks out the window, and there was a bear with the door open, like, snooping around in his in his truck, right? Somehow, this bear shuts the door no. and locks himself in this truck. <laughs> what the fuck? And he couldn't... Yeah, like, his mean, keys must have been in, in the truck, so he couldn't unlock it and open up the door. So this bear is stuck in there for like an hour or two. Oh my god! Ripping shit, apart. Yeah, I was saying, oh, shit yeah. on yeah. everything. Oh, ripped it apart. 
was just like, yeah. Can, can you imagine calling your insurance guy? You're like, hey, man, the inside of my car is totaled. And like, well, what about the outside? He's like, nope. Bear attacked it. That'd have been a gnarly video. I think he has a, a video of it. I'll I'll ask him if he can send it. Pretty crazy. Can you imagine how rattled the bear was? No, probably. I'm sure it was all the shit. Scared and aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really want to be like you ever seen the video <laughs> when you they let the bear out of the cage and it runs forward and just attacks the camera. Like no, it was it was like a bear God. in captivity or they saved it and rescued it for a bit and it like comes out of the cage and just pulls a hard left and then attacks the camera. Door may open without warning. That's friggin'. Yeah, because they have like this automated. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> this is so funny. Goes oh, on this oh, 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 that thing was pissed. Okay, thank the Lord that was, was on that a, a tripod. Guy? No, I'd be trying to like pull the door open with like a I'm surprised 30 you foot didn't. rope. So, how'd they get it out? If I remember correctly, he had to have like a locksmith come or oh something. Oh my gosh. I think. The locksmith is like shaking. I would have just shot the window. I would have broke the window. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember uh, how that got resolved or what ended up happening. But yeah, kind of destroyed the inside of his truck. Like when I was riding with him, he had like like claw marks oh, on, he just, oh, on, so on the door okay. panels. I think there were oh, some like bite marks. Oh, that's was, pretty cool. Though. Well, yeah, you clean it up, like clean right, up all the yeah, shit mostly and everything. Dirty. I was just picturing he actually like destroyed, destroyed like, it. Totaled the inside. But. Like uh, Talladega night style. Oh, just with like the rips, cougar in there. Yeah. 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 Or no, lion in the hangover. Ryan, but check cameras. What were you trying to mean? The cameras that are filming this podcast. <laughs> make sure, <laughs> make sure that they look good, and are uh, you know none, none of us are too far out of them. So recording sure. and everything, good, good deal. Okay. okay. He's check trying to cameras. Get you to check we the got cameras. three cameras. <laughs> Ken's behind. What the ones you check all the time. Check the cameras. <laughs> what, what cameras are you trying to get checked? I was, it's I like was a Patrick first, Star I moment. I was looking through a security camera to see if the bear was at the farm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ken's like, yep, no bear. Sorry. I, I mean, <laughs> very specific around here. Yeah, Just I mean. Scan through 14 <laughs> hours of footage and see if you can see a little black a, bear. Uh, Greta's family uh, just built a house on this mountain. And uh, her mom was staying there for like the first time, like alone. And uh, she got like notified that there was activity outside, like on the security cameras. And there was a bunch of bears running around the driveway trying to get into the garbage. No way. So like it's so known that like bears are going to try and get into the garbage out there that they have to have like a cover on the big dumpster. Mm -hmm. So like when you're building the house, you have like a dumpster out front. You lock it. But they have to straight up have this big locking cage on it. But sure enough, the bears are like crawling over the cage trying oh to gosh. find like a way wow. in. She's Damn. like, oh my gosh, Mark, look at... There's bears running around. What do so I do? Is, yeah. is there rules against shooting a bear? Like, if like let's say that bear was in your yard here. Apparently, uh, you have to have like a, a bear tag. For I'd a imagine. Bear tag. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you guys see? Uh, they're releasing another Jim Cana with Ken Block. Oh, like, yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. Dude. oh, they were that filmed ahead. Correct. I suppose. And it just caught me off guard because everyone's like them, like having one more stacked in there. It's 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 one Wait, thing. It's out, it's out right now. Not yet. Oh, not. in December. That's it's true. an electric on it too. So if you're looking for some internal combustion, you won't have it. But if you're looking for extremely high horsepower ripping, I assume it will have that. Yeah. It's where is so, it? I just so excited. I was like, no way. It's, it reminded me of like when they released, it's completely different, but when they released like Mac Miller songs, they're still releasing music, but with, with Jim Connor and with um, footage of Ken Block, like you either have it or you don't. Like no yeah. one wants to watch like a CGI no. uh, yeah. created version of that. So oh, it's just so crazy. cool they had it stacked up. Yeah, they would have been filmed out like over a year in yeah. advance. Yeah, yeah. That'd be weird being like, Pretty yeah, nuts. this is going to come out in a year and a half. I gained a lot of respect for it. Obviously, it's cool, but when I watched the like Amazon series on it, dude, they yeah, that is a filming thing. They just don't go out there and close down a couple of roads and like yeah, do some drifts. It's pretty wild. To it. Pretty wild how much they put into it. I wonder if Travis will continue to keep doing them. I'm sure. I, th dude. I think the next one will be Leah, his, yeah. his daughter, oh. for sure. But yeah, she was ripping the unicorn at SEMA, SEMA and it was that. like pretty cool. Like the car in itself is cool, but she's a great driver and like... She has a lot of years to learn to become the best driver, but I think the next one will be with her. Hoonigan knocked it out of the park this year with Simi. Yeah, it was like cool. all the all the stuff. They had like celebrities and stuff like come yeah. and do ride alongs, and it was pretty T Pain was there. T Pain the was there. T Pain's really into cars, though. I didn't well, realize right. that, but he's still he's a celebrity. A big, big car guy. And then they had I 
obviously Jim York doing the limo jump, dude. Like, did he do a limo jump in limo? Yeah, but like, did you see it? it? I, he barely I mean, rolled such through an, an RV. Of freaking yeah, I have nothing landing. like bad yep. to say about it. But the whole like, can, the can you pop that up? Ending of the jump, where there was just like no nothing to it. He's just sideways and he hits the limo and then lands upside down dude, in the what limo. What is up with that? That dude but loves the limos dude. and just crashing cards. It's amazing how he's just always okay. I know. Like he landed right on his roof. But and then when yeah. he's and then when he's not crashing. Stunting limos and cars. He's like crashing and stunting mopeds and shit around the compound. I think the wildest one that I've seen him do, if this is what I'm thinking, is pretty crazy. But uh, no, the, the one where he just wagon. the one where he just jumped the wagon straight to flat. Like the there wagon. was oh there was yeah, like the, nothing no, good this, that could come of it. I know, dude. Yeah, the frame bends. Like I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. What's that do to your spine. Like I get. Yeah, you have a roll cage. You've got all the good like Hans devices and stuff like that. But still, the yeah, it's, impact it's is still, still an there. Insane impact. Give him the props. He's just to, built for it. Clearly, yeah, to be yeah. built for it. To continue being able to do this. I remember when he did the freaking limo jump with us through the RV. That, that was, was like, still one of the most insane things. And, that, and, and that's like level and for one him. Now. It yeah, really man, is just another about that. just another weekend. You know, yeah. yeah. Compared to what he's doing now, he's really like continued to level up, amped it up. But I hope, I mean, you know, there is guys that are just built like this, but I hope it doesn't just continue him, doesn't just continue to be him flailing at things and then eventually getting hurt. Like, nobody wants to see that. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of the one guy that, that did the jump at Cletus's. Ken, that guy's got a whole jumped the crown thing. Vic. Yeah. Jumped the crown Vic. His is more calculated, I think. Like, they have, like, more gear and, like, I his think seat, his like, is moves more, it's within like it. more yeah. lame, but way more calculated. That dude was out of the car, but, like... I think Jim's is way crazier, moving. just yeah. for the record, but, yeah. That guy was like, yeah, I've done this a thousand times. Yeah, but that guy's car, so his seat is, like, attached to, like, almost bunchies within the car, so oh, he doesn't have as much of, like, a... a jar. I'm sure it's still extremely jarring, but, like, Jim York is just sitting in this thing, maybe with some harnesses. Roll this like. clip of this barrel roll. When he did the first one, like he overshot us. the RV. Oh, they think put about the how RV bad. Way, way farther. Back. Yeah, I think he was supposed to hit the RV. Probably. Yeah, I think he was going too fast. <laughs> but think about how bad it hurt with Micah falling off that rail. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. just a yeah. fall. Exactly. He jumped from that high straight to concrete. So was it supposed to completely barrel roll? I, I mean, think, I'd assume. I'm. Yeah, they had to have had some good. Best harnesses. case scenario, he kick flips the whole thing, and they probably have a video of that on YouTube because they have a channel now. It's like it's. The 199 channel mm -hmm. with, uh, and it's like Travis Pastrana. And he's got a whole crew of guys with him, uh, and Jim York's one of them. Yeah, dude, I just wondered, like, how how can you be okay after that? I know. And then go uh, go and do that again, like, the next week. I swear, I'm always seeing clips of Jim York just getting ragged on. Well, that's what I mean. I since we did, since we were in Utah and he jumped the limo through the RV, I mean, he's on, like, 30 stunts since then. <laughs> That guy, that guy's a stuntman. Yeah, yeah. he truly that, is. That guy has he's something special. And he he's got is. the he name built for it. different. Jim York. It's if a his great name, name was like Peter name. Anderson, it wouldn't really work. Fuck no. You know? Fuck no. Search Jim York on YouTube. Our video is the uh, the second one. But if your name's Ryan Anderson, then then, then you got you're a legend, bro. I still I'm just enthralled. We've talked about Monster Jam a million times, but I'm. I can't get over these guys that do this. Yeah, basically do stuff like this week in and week out like it's their job. Like, I love me a good stunt. Also, a good stunt terrifies the shit out of me, and I, I, I like to only do them every once in a while. But when it's your quite literally your job, they're just built different. Alondra and I were talking about that because I did a cold tub last night, which I assume has to kick in some type totally. of adrenaline. And I yeah, you're pretty much cold tub or cold right. like did you do the one cold. at at the shop here at the shop? Okay, yeah. So that's cold. Ice oh, that shit is cold. cold. Yeah, was, that's like cold. max cold. Thirty three degrees. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, anyway, she was like, "There's no way I could do that and then fall asleep." And I think the same thing about caffeine. Like, I could have an energy drink, yeah. lay down in bed, and probably fall asleep if I was ready. And I think it's probably just the adrenaline we're subjected to. You that know, might like, be it. Yeah. You, like you could drive around and drive super fast in your car, and you wouldn't even get like your heart racing. But if you took your mom with. Should be She'd terrified. Have a damn yeah. heart attack. Mm -hmm. First poll. That's yeah. weird. That's kind of how it was when we were in in like uh, Disney World on like the craziest rides, yeah. and everyone around us is like, "Oh my god, that was insane!" And then our whole crew was like, "Yeah, that was that was, that was cool. fun. Yeah, that fun. was that yeah, was fun. fun. That was fun." We're with the the CEO of Bugatti, who's literally driving the fastest production cars every single day. Yeah, he was like, coffee in the morning. Yeah, that. Uh, 
That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> they're, they're bragging about the zero to 60 in like three seconds. He's like, yeah, I, I could do that in my driveway. Probably, <laughs> yeah. you know. It is interesting how much we get, you know, how much adrenaline and how numb to it we probably are. That When they say adrenaline's like a drug, that means it even more so is like a drug because you can build a tolerance to it. Like good anything. Point. It's kind of scary. Which is like unfortunate, but also, I don't know, maybe a good thing. But I, like I w- it would suck running our adrenaline up like to our mom's levels every day of the stuff we do. Like it's, it's probably a good thing. We have a little bit of a tolerance to it. Yeah. And anyone in the scene, I think there, there is good to have a tolerance to it, but also just like with anything that you go up, you have it down. So if you're super stoked, you're going to have a crash and then that crash sucks even more. So if you don't get up then you can't crash as hard down with adrenaline, you got to like, you know, you Balance. can't just Balance be like it. all balls to the walls 24-7. Yeah, yeah you keep adding at some gas, point, fire, gas, fire, gas, fire. Eventually, you got to come down. Yep. And, and when it when when uh, you, you know, continue to do like crazier and crazier, crazier things to hit that adrenaline peaks like everyone, well, you still got to come back down from that and it's going to suck a lot more. I'm a big advocate for I don't believe that there is a, you know, there's, there's a high for every low or a low for every high. I don't believe in that, but I think kind of what you just said there is still a low and there will be a low like it's inevitable. Correction, at least yeah you know as in like there can be like 10 highs but there'll still be a low that's just as equal to those highs but i don't think there's a high a low to every high well i i don't know if there's like every single good thing you have a bad thing it's right not like i'm not that. saying yeah. that you, like you're that. saying that i'm just kind of making that clear i was like no, I was, i'm just saying like if if you're constantly going up and up and up like I don't think that's sustainable. Not at all. Especially a way to live. And eventually it's, it's things aren't going to be going up and up and up. And as soon as things aren't going up and you feel like things are crashing down and getting worse, like, well, you haven't experienced things that, that aren't that way for a while. If, if things have been going so good, so it's going to feel a lot shittier, like coming True. down. So maybe the, so less it's not like of, every up you have it no, down, but right. it's, it's like, I'm not saying that you thought that I was just making that clear, but that does make sense. Is like the less downs you have, the more it's going to hurt when it is a down. Well, like anything. Yeah. Like massive success. And then all of a sudden, like it was going so well. And then now I don't have any money <laughs> or whatever, you know, <laughs> like big the classic, fat low. The yeah, classic. yeah, the classic. Like you get, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you get really, I just slapped his voice. That's what I thought was funny about it. <laughs> you know you're a child actor and then you like have a million and a half dollars and then like by the time you're 21 you're like broke and addicted to drugs now that's a that's a low you were probably going up and up and up as a child actor mm-hmm. <laughs> there's the balance if you have to shave shave with the best and use harry's razors to get the best shave of your life for a price that you'll love the starter set is a 13 dollar value for just three bucks at harrys.com slash wide open plus you can schedule refills for as low as two dollars which is half of what you'd be paying for other blades i love using harry's razors and i really think you guys will too i like to keep my beard trimmed up and i'm fortunate to have this neck beard that comes in every few days so a shaver that doesn't irritate my neck is crucial to me Harry's has sleek, ergonomic weighted handles that look great in your bathroom and give you a precise control with each swipe. Harry's doesn't stop at shavers, though. They have creams, washes, and lotions that will keep your skin healthy and hydrated. There really is no reason to not try using Harry's, and they're offering a no-risk free trial. And if you don't like your shave, no worries, it's on them. Get your best shave ever with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just 3 bucks at harrys.com slash wide open. That's harrys.com slash wide open for a $3 starter set. Thanks for sponsoring the podcast, Harrys. My closet doesn't have a ton of diversity when it comes to shirts. I have about every Seaboys TV shirt we've ever made. And outside of that, my pickings are pretty slim. But once I found Marine Layer, I found a go-to for my favorite grab-and-go t-shirt or jacket. Marine Layer has the softest shirts I've ever owned. They feel like an old, worn in, comfy t shirt, but at the same time, they also feel fresh and new. My girlfriend likes the style of them, and I like how they feel. And the best part is they have a size called Larger, which is in between Large and XL, which fits me perfectly and gives me the excuse I need to quit working out. <laughs> And when you want to get rid of your old t-shirts, they'll literally pay you for them with their respawn program. You get five bucks for every old t-shirt that you send in. So they're literally paying you 
to buy their shirts. I love wearing Marine Layer whenever I'm going out on the town. I'm thankful for investing in a wardrobe that will actually last. And I think that we can all admit the perfect tee can be hard to find. So look no further than Marine Layer. For a limited time, get 15% off with the code WIDEOPEN15 at MarineLayer.com. That's code WIDEOPEN15 for 15% off your entire order at MarineLayer.com. Saving your closet one shirt at a time. If you were a child actor, would you go to school? Not uh, not today's age. You have, have to go to, to school. No, I think, no, I think no. They make you you oh, have I to have you some meant, kind of Oh, I thought education. you meant teach them in the thing. I thought like, you, you meant can't like, just be a child would actor. Would you go to school? Would I go to school? Nah, I'd be on online school, like in today's age. Yeah. But what like if your back parents had day, like one of those fancy YouTube channels where they like hyped you up when you were a baby and then... You know, like you already could be theoretically rolling in dough doing toy reviews. Like, how are you supposed to freaking? Nowadays, it's probably easier than ever to not go to school. You just what I mean. do this yeah. online homeschooling thing, and you I don't think do I anything. I think I heard a TikTok clip about somebody was a child actor. Maybe it was uh, Josh, like Drake and Josh, and he said they went and made them get their GEDs like right away because when you're in high school you can only work so much but if you have like a high school education they can work you more (laughs) so they wanted to do it to make them work more i'm not certain it was him but somebody like him yeah i don't know about the whole like homeschooling thing because you you miss a lot i think that just comes with going to school like Getting educated is one thing, but getting like the social education is another. Can you imagine the first time you get made fun of is in like college? That'd be fucking yeah. hard, dude. I or think it's like, good to be exposed. I agree. Like, 100%. like I look at like, I think it's good to be exposed to like di- varying levels of like people, people that uh, come from different environments than you because then like, I don't know, it just prepares you for the real world, you know? Mm-hmm. You've dealt with someone that, you know, just a little bit rougher around the edges or, you know, and mm-hmm. just, I don't know. I think it gets you acclimated. Comments on the internet, like you could probably, even if there's a True, whole bunch of, fun them. of now. well, no, but I'm saying like, you can take those as you will. They could be really mean or whatever. It's something to be said about just some good old exposure to, to people in the real world. Yeah. Maybe not agreeing with you or maybe just straight up being mean. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Makes I didn't really tougher. like going to school and getting bullied. So I'm doing my bullying remote. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Do you do, yeah, now I do all my bullying remote. Uh, it's just so much easier. I can affect so many more people. There is something about like having a liberal ass teacher that clearly has a certain way of thinking, whether that's the way that you want your kids raised or not. But like even even a super conservative teacher that's like pushing their views on uh, these students, though. It's kind of crazy. It is crazy because, I mean, you see plenty of kids go off to college and that's when they're like formed by like their professors yeah i think college is probably worse i think college professors go like these kids are adults i can tell them things that i feel but i feel like if you're a fourth grade teacher like your fourth grade teacher isn't like you should vote for they are now i think they are now i think they're like i mean i haven't been you're not a male you're not female there's there's more like accountability in like your local elementary school where a lot of those college teachers they're tenured they can say damn near anything Anything and they can't get fired yeah Mm -hmm. but i mean i i think that teachers of younger kids are probably a little more focused on school they have to enable kids to be whatever they want to be apache helicopters and shit like that because they can't well, the younger it gets like teachers are just they should just stick to making sure they know how that to the kids have a smile on their face and that they can read <laughs> you know among yeah, other things yeah they messed up on on uh teaching me that <laughs> never quite figured out that whole reading thing you're still a terrible advantage um, you were stupid definitely didn't help <laughs> What Ken said, though, like with these professors that are tenured, I'm pretty sure that teachers for like elementary school are and middle school and high school, I'm sure, are too, though, to a point after a couple of years because they need them so bad. Yeah. But there's more like accountability. Like you can go to your school board, you can complain and you can right. get, have like have them reprimanded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like there, there's more accountability in the community aspect of like a local public school or even like a, just your local school than sending your kids off to some college where you basically have zero input in that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Dude, I think that teachers are like actually so underpaid for what they do. And obviously everyone would say that, but like if they were paid more, which would just obviously increase taxes and everything that goes with that. But the kids would probably turn out better because the teachers would actually want to be there or may, uh, might attract 
Yeah, they uh, you know better, more suited teachers. I think the basis of it, no one's ever expected to go above and beyond of what you're paid. You're really you're not. You're expected to do your job. I don't know. Like no one's going above and beyond because why would you at fifty k a year? But I think the crazy thing is a lot of teachers do. I think I. I well, yeah, talked to some yeah, teacher and they, they were like, I don't do it for the money. I do it because like I had a good teacher. I want to influence kids and stuff like that. And God bless them because a lot of people aren't like that. So I guess that is the benefit to sending your kid to a private school, though, because the teachers are probably paid more, huh? Actually, I don't think really ours were. Really? I think it was easier. Where's the you money going? Fucking new well, performing arts centers. I guess and shit essentially like that. the money is. The same the, amount of money. It's just you're paying that out of pocket instead yeah, of your tax state, dollars yeah. paying it out of pocket and everyone else's tax dollars. Damn. How much was your school, Ryan? I am curious. I mean, are you I think it was comfortable a lot. disclosing that? Like what a, a, a year was? It was probably cheaper going to college. Yeah, it was. That's really? Crazy. Oh, I was thinking. That's not nuts. with room and board and shit, but uh, yeah. college tuition was cheaper. And I like went what? to a cheap college. 20 grand a year? I, I don't think I it was, was that gonna, much. I was thinking it was like 11 grand a year. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you going to do, Mike? Is Sydney going to want to? I don't know. That's that's good question i mean as long as there's a couple more steps schools, thanks, yeah, yeah until they get to there <laughs> yeah but uh no i i'm not opposed <laughs> Never to know, right. Right. <laughs> Fuck. You're right. you got excited there for a second <laughs> yeah we still got quite a bit of <laughs> <laughs> no seriously dude mike i went down a rabbit hole on your facebook looking for some picture i think it was you wearing weird pants and you had like a facebook folder and it was like Going to Lake Park for a day or something like that. And you'd and like carry around the camera yeah, just taking pictures. You went to Lake Park for the day? Mm hmm. A a that's school. a neighboring school? Yeah. What do you mean, the day? I, we've talked about this before. This oh, is so funny. No, I mean, kind of like the way you brought it up was different. Anyway, I just remember you guys thinking it was so insane that students could visit other schools when they had like the day off. Yeah, but why? It just seems why? insane to me bro? that you would want <laughs> to. Correct, correct. You so go to the Galdang skate park or something so, like that. What the fuck were you doing sitting in classes for a day? Hanging like, with my homies. Probably being a nuisance. There's clearly a reason a that were there's you no way that you can no? still do that. Not really. I'd say my the friends that went to Lake Park were being the nuisance and I was just a part of it. <laughs> you but, was the instigator. But yeah, it's just like, so you have to go to school five days a week pretty much for your entire life what what it feels like till you're 18 and then so it's like what's one day at a school where you don't have to do anything all day like how I is that it's fun. how I is that going to like check it out any to hang out with other friends yeah i was like how is that like that insane were you but, yeah. doing it to see like the the guys or like going for the chicks Nah, like oh it's who it's nah, like the new kid in I school guess, like the new kid all the chicks <laughs> are like the guys are like just like, for the day you know kind of sizing them up and the girls are like oh he's kind of cute yeah you know a you got bit, that a little bit of both mostly for the homies but I, I already, can tell his mom doesn't dress him because he's <laughs> wearing a ridiculous outfit <laughs> <laughs> oh it's something about those purple skinny purple jeans pants. no I knew most of the girls there too I mean keep in mind I live like seven miles no. from this school and this school only has like. Six 50 people per grade. So were you kind of a legend walking around there for the day? Oh, I'd say so. Yeah, dude, I was a legend. Yeah, snapping pictures. The principal. Shit. What were you doing with the camera? No, for, for the record, like that's not, I didn't, I didn't bring like a DSLR to that. I brought it to the, the basketball game later on. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I'm definitely, you guys are already going to dig in my Facebook. I leave all this. I always, I have been curious about this question. I leave all of the stuff that I've ever uploaded on Facebook and Instagram. I think that's part smart. of my life. I appreciate that. I do. I agree. Wildly yeah. embarrassing. Like the stuff that I put up is just, you're going to look at it and go, what? I wonder if you have to be my friend or not to see the pictures. Well, pop it up. Ken, yeah. pop it I'm up. working on it. It's just so much whack stuff in there. But yeah, I just leave it because it was part of my life. But uh, yeah, the principal cook kicked me out that day that I that visited. Sense. Why? How long here's did you make the, it? The, here's the crazy part How as long to did you why. Make it? I mean, half the day I made it to lunch and then he's like, yeah, you got to pay for lunch. I'm like, that's fine. I'll, I'll have one of the guys punching their number. He's like, no, you got to pay for it. And I was like, okay, I can figure it out then i can pay cash or something and then i was like ah eh, whatever and then i like went up and grabbed a peanut butter sandwich and he's like you have to pay for that and then he's like eh, you got you need to leave and then i didn't and i like tried to sneak into the, the next <laughs> class with you know the the homies and then you can hear him Micah Sandman across, and they're like oh dude you and then they're we're all walking in the school and he's like they're crowding around me trying to like cover me up and it was oh just the gosh. weirdest thing and then he like ends up like grabbing me from the stairs and was like you need to leave so he kicked me out that wait was so last. were you stealing the peanut butter and jelly then essentially yeah 
Yeah, well, yeah, like, no shit, you got kicked out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That was just yeah, petty theft. I guess. Yeah, it was like that's the pettiest of that. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, but still stealing. School funded, you know. Yeah, you well, stole. Again, you used to steal a lot back then, didn't you? No, no. We got to be a little more specific. I used to steal a lot of treats from the school lunch. That's yeah. the oh, only stealing time, from the taxpayers. The only time I've ever stolen. I think that's a like federal crime. Nice, nice, Mike. <laughs> that's a pretty bad example to set, Good Mike. Times, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, they say he's not a very good role model, Ben, so <laughs> I think he's okay. Yeah, I've never claimed to be a good role model. I I, uh, I'll, shoot, I'll shoot you straight, though. You will. Very yeah. true. No, I do appreciate that. Ben also, I, 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 straight I appreciate you keeping your old pictures and every decision that you ever made Is public there. because my buddy Ryan over here has wiped the internet clean of all pictures Wait, of him wearing transitions. Did he? No. No, I was like, I don't think he actually did that, though. Can we find any pictures? I can't find any pictures of you Ryan wearing transitions. You had them all saved on your iPad. You really? should, if you could find your old iPad, too, Scroll you'd back have them. Oh, really? Yeah, I remember oh, I'm being on Sometimes your iPad. Sometimes you have to go to, like, I Justin's page and then find the pictures that he uploaded that he forgot to tag Ryan in or something. Twelve years ago, I posted on Facebook, directing parking is the most degrading job ever. All you do is get yelled at. Who the fuck let me have a keyboard? <laughs> well, who yeah. lets you direct parking? I don't think I, I, think I don't know. It's probably something. Two people liked it. Right. Ken and you, one other guy. I'm picturing I'm, you. Were Ryan. you just driving past someone yeah. directing parking? Yeah. You're <laughs> I was like, that's degrading. What a fucking <laughs> idiot. No, that's very si similar to something I could see myself, I guess, uploading my Typing status out. or whatever. Ryan, Nobody you used likes. Facebook as Twitter before oh, Twitter was Twitter. And then you kind of used Twitter as Twitter, too. And you always had fire tweets. Yeah, I used to be good at social media, and I kind of fell off. Do you guys remember playing Farmville? Did Anyone that, yeah. play Shit Farmville? Was the bomb. Yeah. yeah, that was the best, dude. That was like the golden age of Facebook. When like you get invited to play a Facebook game. Here's a picture a, of me in transition. From a girl in your school. Me and Ken. Yeah, I'll play oh, Farmville yeah. with you. Or when like everyone comments like happy birthday on your page and you feel like extra yeah. love. How many wall po yeah, how many yeah, posts dude. on your wall did you get? Yeah. Oh, I used got, to like, go 200. off on Twitter, dude. That's some guy tweeted at me. He goes, I have no idea who the fuck you are, but all the girls in my high school are wishing you happy birthday. Peak. Oh, that's a mad. That had to have felt pretty good, huh? Yeah, had to have. Good. Can we pull up some of Ryan's old tweets? I remember them being pretty good, but I'd like to. Yeah, maybe they weren't. Come back to it and see. I did take a scroll down my old Instagram captions because I used to be good at that too, and I was like, oh, these were actually. I feel like back then it was like more about the caption. Oh, I gotta, I gotta sign up for Twitter. Unbelievable. You don't have Twitter? No. Well, it's Twitter? X now. I deleted it. X. Why? Because I never used it. He had too many he, insensitive how, tweets, Ben. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Deleting, yeah, he he didn't delete the app off his phone. He deleted delete his account. Delete the old damn account. I go on Twitter. I, I actually go on Twitter quite a bit now. It's way different now. It's way different now. That, now. Yeah, yeah, X, obviously, like with Elon like it taking isn't. it over, dude. I feel like it's just oh, it's way refined, different. but it doesn't feel different to me at all. Like, what? when you're scrolling... I I notice I don't go on it much, but like I'm getting way way more like fights. And oh like, yeah, the one the one thing that's changed is that Twitter adopted the same thing that every other social media platform has is curated content. Yeah, but they don't feed. also like they didn't have that. They before. don't really seem to uh, hide violent or oh, like they things never that have, normally though. would. Yeah, they no, never have. yeah, that's the thing. It's so like live leaks, like a lot of like you know pretty bad stuff that you really shouldn't be watching you see on twitter at least i do i don't know what the frick's wrong with mine no but, i have the you same watch thing. one dude and then it gets i yeah. don't agree with it either especially like the high school or younger age i don't know like i just don't agree with seeing that you see some like high school fight and then it gets like three million views on yeah. twitter and then like all i gotta do is sucker punch this kid six yeah, times bad. and then it's Theo just, was talking about this too it's yeah. like it's not bad for your brain yeah i i agree it's like Watch. It's not bad, or you're saying it or is? It's bad. Yeah. Sorry, it's bad for your brain. Yeah, it's like it just mm -hmm. doesn't. It seems detrimental to the your entire like morale. You get process. like way too used and comfortable to it. Yeah, I remember when I was like a kid. That's when like violent video games were kind of starting to actually become like more realistic and whatever. And and there was all this big debate because then the school shootings seemed to start happening more and more and more and like honestly there probably is a correlation between it all you be, know that one uh call of duty mission where you like walk into the airport yeah, and yeah take everybody on, on up? mw2 you know yeah. you can win that mission without firing a single shot oh that's yeah. interesting yeah. i wonder if they have but everybody's that goes in there and lights up a whole airport 
That's yeah, that shit was in the fun. video game. I remember I like my TSA pre-check status. It got like yeah, way you're on or list now. Yeah, I know. And I then just... you had to pick whether you were gonna play that mission or not. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's yeah, like, oh a, damn, it was I a little consent that. thing on it. Dude, right I wouldn't after. mind hopping on some Call of Duty. I haven't done it in years, but like, I just I, feel like it'd be fun. I was just walking through the mall and I was like, damn, GTA 6 is coming out. I wish I had mm. the time. I just yeah, pick up a new dude. Xbox, sit down and play it. Go. Never gonna. Yeah, no. why would I do that? I Alondra would be pissed if I worked <laughs> for 12 hours and got home at 8 o'clock at night, and then I'll I went, the hey, babe, I'm gonna go play Xbox till 2 a.m. and yeah. then leave in the morning. Yeah, you yeah. should be playing Wii. <laughs> You're right. Stay active. I mean, yeah, I, I agree. Ryan Definitely. Just ain't, gonna, <laughs> ain't gonna have any time to play it, but like... <laughs> He's Wii bowling. I'm pretty excited for GTA 6. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. I, I saw this, like, this is the dumbest meme ever. It was like, GTA 5 comes out, do you have a responsible adult that's above 18 that can purchase this or whatever? And now it's just like cash a card. Well, well, you're I mean, over the age of yeah, 18. I'm like, it yeah, I'm like, 12 years I, ago. yeah, I was like, I get that. But also, yeah, okay, GTA 5 came out when most of us weren't 18. But then I'm yeah. like, if you're going to wait 35 years to make another game. My mom so, hid violent video games from me. Really? Yeah, that's why I turned out so messed She up. still bought them for him, but just hit them. Hit them. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because like when I got my GameCube that I talked about, uh, yeah. it came with Super Smash Bros. But apparently that was too violent. Oh, what? Was like, yeah. Wow. So I never got to play it. And that's crazy. Many years like, later, mom, I'll found play with a Kirby. One, and I still have it sealed somewhere. What? It's gotta be worth something. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it has worth like to be six bucks. No, uh -huh. it's they gotta be worth it like out with sixty like bucks. Every every yeah. single GameCube. It's like having a sealed copy. But here's in my opinion, real quick. GameCube and Smash Bros. Like, if there's any game that should ever, you, if let's say you had one game for GameCube, it should be that game. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. I agree. I never played those games either, Ryan. Not because I wasn't allowed to. I just never did. <laughs> Didn't like them. I don't know if that's supposed to make you feel better, scared, or not, but he hmm. was too cool yeah. for video games. I remember I was always surprised that you had an Xbox. You seem kind of like the type to like not have one. I no, always loved seeing. coming over to your place and playing Xbox, though. We would, dude. Was yeah, we would just, it was nice out, and we were like, let's just sit in the basement for eight hours and play Xbox. Yeah. I know. We were, we were pretty good outside guys, but there would hit a point. It'd be like July 28th <laughs> on a Saturday, and we're like, we're going to play COD Zombies all day in the basement. And our dad would be like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> dude, I kind of want to do that again. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that's that's what I'm saying. Really fun. Like, that's just also something... That it was like very short lived in my life, but I had a good time doing it, and I kind of want to being like you know somewhat Get one might call it. an adult now. Yeah, I kind of want to fire that up again. But like, know, what, be what so better nice. night to do it on than Friendsgiving? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you we imagine would, we hey, call up all the girls? Yeah, again. we Sorry, would have we the. Got to work tonight. No, 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 no Justin no. would be no. stoked. They can be there. They can be there, but they would just like we would be so having the best time ever, like trading mean, off. Controllers. We could all carry around our own TVs in there. Yeah, yeah, everyone bring their own TV to CJ's house. I mean, oh, it's not even that are hard you kidding anymore. Me? Thirteen year old me is like vibrating. It would be pretty electric. And the internet. That that's the best part too. You know, we're we're not in any uh, sort of city area by any means, but now the internet could probably handle six Xboxes no problem. For sure. Like where back in the day, uh, one is pushing Mike, it. Mike, did your parents let you play violent video games? I feel like they wouldn't let that. No, they didn't. They didn't. And then I was just like, all right, just Call of Duty. That's all I want. And then they're like, all right, fair enough. And I'm like, I just play online. It's nothing crazy. There's like, it's not tainting me. It's just like, I just bully just the kids online. Yeah, just don't no, listen. I didn't no. even get a part of that. I was actually, I was, dude, I was scared to talk to people. Like, you know? how did you even play online? You had like dial up at your house for the <laughs> yeah, longest yeah. time. Barely. If I was playing online, um, like no one could do anything. It wasn't actually dial up at that point. But <laughs> You're just laying around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was bad. But uh, GTA was definitely uh, behind closed doors type of. Game. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to play GTA because you shot I people. Mean, I was yeah. allowed to shoot other army members. It's as soon as, and then it's like the worst part is, okay, oh yeah, you you play GTA, yeah, you can like drive cars, shoot guns and stuff. But then everyone's favorite thing to do ever was, yeah, you can get a hooker and then you can just kill them afterwards and then take their money. That was like the oh. that was like the go to line. I'm like, aggressive. that's so aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Bro. That's how you explain the game. Yeah. You know, that's, <laughs> that's how someone explained so the game. So, like, to what's, me. what's yeah. Grand what Theft Auto? Do? Like, oh, you go and get a hooker, you kill them and take their money. I mean, they, they preface that you can drive cars and oh, guns I first. That. But that's like, you know, that the mom. It's awesome. Circle, it's so fun. Like, of, of propaganda, of yeah. mom stuff. It was like, don't let your kids drink Monster. It's for the devils. And, or from the devil, and then GTA, you kill hookers, and yeah. I don't know, one other thing. There wasn't like smoking or any like actually bad things. 
Uh, yeah, what's up with that? Monsters for the devil? That's what yeah, I don't well, know. Well, it's there like 666 some... in Hebrew, yeah, like the monster logo. That, yeah, that some kind of lady did. came up with something. Surprised me. I don't know if she came she up with it. She had to be I crazy. Think, I think like that, once I like looked a little more into it, I'm like, well, maybe it is. And maybe they did do that. I hope they're not devil worshippers. I like the brand. But yeah. Um, yeah, I did look that up. Like, so I drink Celsius now. When I was growing up, anything that I couldn't do, I just had to go over to CJ's house and I could. You know, he's the older cousin. Pop, pop tarts. Candy. Candy. Pop rocks. Pop rocks. And then just like aggressive video games, right? So CJ introduced me to live. And so I sit down in his bedroom because you had a TV in your bedroom yeah. too. Oh, man. Which, which I also like couldn't have. And I sit down and, and he puts the headset on and he goes, all right, tell me what they're saying. Uh, they're saying this, this. Okay, now say this back. Just something so aggressive and I vulgar. I like oh that too. God. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what am I doing right now? And he goes, talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's what I mean. I was terrified okay, what they to say do that. Back. What they say back? Oh, this is what they said back. Oh, oh, fuck. Go after their mom. Go out. Say this. <sighs> say this about their mom. Or like but something. You know it's coming something. across in Ben's Yeah, those, yeah. Those and then they would go ruthless, like, man. you sound like a, a 12 year old boy whose balls haven't dropped yet. And I'm like. He's on to me. He's on to me. He said I'm a 12 year old. I'm 10. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good funny. times. Good times. Good times. I feel like either people can just like, they can do that or they're not. Like they can talk shit on games or they can't. And I just was like too non-confrontational. Dude, I follow some there. some pretty funny streamers on that, that do that. There's like this one guy who he pitches up his voice and then, you know, the way he speaks he sounds like a kid, but also like he knows Classic. all the he knows all the lingo. So he's like hitting sounds on like girls or of... roasting guys. Yeah, and it's so funny because he like sounds like a kid. They're like, damn, dude, this ten year old is like roasting you right now. Yeah. And then That's there's funny. this other Call of Duty DJ. He's got this crazy soundboard, and so whenever anyone says anything, he has the best meme response to every single one. <laughs> like he's he's pretending to have like a big stream. He's just like. Yo, guys, this this guy's literally trying to, like, get on me. Chat, are you seeing this right now? And the guy's like, are you streaming? Like, oh, thanks for the $100. $100 for 10 meows. Meow. Oh, my God. <laughs> meow. Does 10 of them. And the people that are playing are like, dude, <laughs> stop. It's so That's funny. hilarious. So, yeah, like, funny. people are making a good living Twitch streaming, trolling people on Call of Duty. It's insane. Like, dude, that's, that's I want to get one of those streaming race setups here basically as an excuse to play video games because then I can say I it's work. 100%. Like, we need Let's one. get one. Yeah, I, like, would people one. watch a stream? You think? No. Oh. No. But I think I we think, would use it. I think for, we would play it. No, the four days. would 100% watch it, but I don't know if we should be. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think, think we should be streaming. It? Well, I don't know. I don't. It's hard to say. What would? I don't know. No, we I don't. Should have had Evan got Evan in one of those before we took him to Bristol. That wouldn't have helped. No, we should have just told him where the right cause. pedal was. Dude, we should have put Micah in one of those before he spent thirty k on a drift car. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm trying to get one. I'm like, people. I talk to some people that have like a true drift setup, and they're like, yeah, like saved a lot of money with one of those because then I. Like learn how to drive, but you already spent the money, All so right, you might Mike, as well yeah. drive it. Here you go. You could have bought this instead. Oh my! Oh, wow. Thirty so thousand dollars. That thing like moves around. I'd assume that one moves. Yeah, yeah. full motion. Full okay, motion. Yeah. Stage five. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and I'm not talking. I'm not trying to buy a stimulator at, at the same price of the drift car in place of the drift car. But well, I mean, you haven't driven your drift car just sitting out there in a snowbank. Yeah, true. Wait, we have banks of snow outside. Mike, yeah. I think you should buy that. Hell yeah. I'm not going to Mike the link. Send yeah. Mike the link. Just so he has that Mike. tonight at Friendsgiving after a couple drinky poos. I accidentally buy a $30,000. I don't think it'd be on accident. I think you, you got the space well for it. Got, it would it make I you not feel worried better? about the space. Hell yeah, I got the space for it. It's just in Micah's office. I, I got the space for it. Going. Oh, that would be bad. I was thinking you put it at his house, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could put it in your other room at your other house. Correct. That's true. At, at the lake. Then I'll use like it. That'd be great. Room. Yeah. That'll be, I only go over <laughs> just to, um, hop it in the sim, boys. Dude, I, I have so much respect for these streamers. Like Kai They're Sinet, so good. They're so Aiden good. Ross. I always thought it was kind of a gimmick, but a lot of them, actually his, not yeah, a lot of them. What's his name? Like Jin Some of them are fantastic at yeah. it. Yeah. I am. I show speed. Yep. Jinxie. Yeah. Jinxie, yeah. I really like. He's kind of weird. But it's kind of on the come up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like streaming seems to be... Those guys More of the new thing. I actually rushed. watched uh, Nelk. They were doing like a live stream and I, I tuned into it and it's like weird. Not really doing anything, but you just kind of keep watching. It's really, really weird. You're like, something's going to happen. There's something to it. The fact that it's live. 
I don't know. But but if you were to tune into a YouTube video of someone doing nothing, you'd be like, yeah, I'm not watching this. I'm it's like, kind of like live PD when they flip around to the cameras and nothing happens for 90% of it. But if you catch the 1% yeah. of gold. And that's yes. probably a big reason why people watch. I'm like in, in between. Like, I think that if you're streaming, you don't have to have this big plan. You know, like even our podcast isn't like that. You don't need to have this big like list of, all right, here's what I'm going to do. But you also, I remember when like Andy Milanakis, he just is like, I'm going to stream all the hours I'm awake. I'm just going to stream the whole time. And it was really boring. Yeah. I mean, it, and even on the highlights, it was it's like, okay. did it too much. Yeah, dude. exactly. Like, so just the whole like, bit. just stream everything all the time. You got to do stuff too. Like yeah. these yeah. streamers are entertaining. It, they're putting into like a production. Like 100%. they're planning their streams. At like least, it's a video. Granted it's live, but like they have things that are going to come in that like they're going to do on the stream. Like Kai Sinat People. just did uh, like a seven days in, he called it. And they went to like, I think it was an abandoned jail and he had like Drewski with them. Like. Christian Rock, whatever her name is, like a bunch yeah, of just like other, fun. and like they're in their jumpsuits and they're living like they're in prison, except it's live streamed and it's like pretty seven entertaining. Days. Do they live stream 24 hours a day for seven pretty days? Pretty sure. Oh, that is incredible. I don't know. I didn't tune in, That's but so pretty cool. sure. Like I say, I don't have the time to do it, but that is cool. A dude that I actually, uh, I guess we all know him from uh, the neighboring town that moved to LA got in on that. Private school fella. Yeah, he was from private school, but his tattoos all over his face now, so he fit in perfectly as like I'm sure they did the casting, and they're yeah. like, "Oh, this guy's great. He's a nice guy too." So I'm sure it's perfect. But, yeah, but he he's got like, the look. Yeah, you got the, got look, the look for that kind of like production. I guess I wonder what it is like to stream and having that constant like I need to be entertaining yeah. feeling. Because the more you I feel are, so uncomfortable I on live stream. I'd yeah, be like, "This be is boring. Like I don't want to well, bore people." I just wonder like. You can lose your authenticity really fast because authenticism. Yeah, authentic. Authenticism. Authenticism. I think you have authenticism. I think I do too. Oh man! When you uh, you can lose that really fast because um, the the more extra you are, the more donations. I mean, it's like the more entertaining you are the more donations so your low moments have no donations and then you're doing something you're like i don't even know what i was doing it wasn't even like something i normally do but i got a bunch of donations yeah, I like this hype then all behind of a sudden you it. might just yeah 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 it's kind of like like when we film with someone who's not used to being on camera like they're ready to, to like ride a dirt bike off a cliff like i don't care i'll do anything because you get all jacked up from the camera yeah it's like kind of that same i'm sure in like even live. more so because now you have people oh, watching live. live so you're like i don't even have a chance to think about I think it's it's a big big thing that uh, is only going to get bigger though. Aiden so Ross, maybe we got to do it. Aiden Ross is making ten million bucks a year from Kick. Oh, but he's a. Kick? Pu- I'm pretty sure he's a punk though. Aiden Ross. Yeah, I think they all are, man. Oh, is that just salary? Because they be. they do like deals with them, so you're not even getting paid for like like I'm sure obviously you have like how many streams you have to do, but they'll like pay you up front. Oh, I mean, fuck, 30, they're getting paid more than, like, oh, pro dude, athletes. Aiden, Aiden Ross yeah. is making more than, like, movie stars. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. St- live streaming. But they're Crazy. pretty entertaining. They know how to do it. There's art to the craft. For sure. It, it does surprise me. I'm sure it's once you get your credit card info in and stuff like that, it's a lot easier. And you're paying for, like, a shout-out, stuff like that. But I just, I could not see watching television or a video and being like, I want to just throw in a dollar here. I just want to throw in a dollar here. That, I could see Mike doing it, though. Throwing in a dollar? Yeah. Or live streaming? No, like when you're watching a live streamer, you start donating for some meows have, and shit. I never have. But oh, if you no, were watching, none of that shit. You're watching, no. But I think uh, I think David did it for that Harry Mack guy who's a, yeah, a rapper, so, and so then the, yeah. he got a song with like the things that he suggested. So that's kind of cool. I think he was freestyling. Bro, I forgot so about that. Cool. A lot like, of I'd pay five bucks for that. A lot of Omegle streamers as well. So again, they're oh, Twitch yeah. streaming or streaming on whatever platform they choose. Omegle, as far as I know, just shut down. My boy Harry no, it Mack. Didn't. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they what? Just yeah. Crap. So my boy Harry Mack, he's always on there. He makes Omegle bars. He just came out with his number one. It 100. is Omegle, right? Omegle, Omegle. <laughs> I don't I know. know. I've heard. I've heard both. Okay. Um, but they, that's just like one of his bigger things. Like he does a bunch of stuff, but uh, just no longer just can't do it anymore. Someone will come out with another thing, but is that the thing that would you'd pop up. Random people, and yeah. then like half the time they were like a lot of super off, like off, perverted yeah. guys. Ninety yeah. percent dicks. 90% That's the other that crazy is so part weird, is I just saw dude. like yeah like a tweet or something that was just like um, the amount of pe- the amount of underage people who've been flashed on Omegle. Is yeah, insane. 
they've been around a long time. I remember Since going on Omega back before like Since computers had like a camera on them. So like I had a buddy who had a freaking actual webcam, like oh, a thirty dollar so webcam on. you'd get from Best Buy and plug right. in the USB. And like he was who introduced me to it, and it was like funny, you know. We'd like play pranks and shit. Yeah, just would be really. people. I do yeah. remember that, like buying a separate webcam just so you could go on it. So what's going on with these guys that are sitting there? Jerking off, like oh, we don't, something no, they we, got a weird kink we about. We don't it, talk man. about them. Like, what, what are you, what <laughs> but are you no, but for, like, really? what are they hoping? Like, what's yeah, going on? Right. I mean, what are they, they get doing? off because they're sure flashing school, themselves? We were all like, when I did it, it was probably like, oh, we might see a girl on here that we can. That too, yeah, yeah. Like when you go on, you're like hoping to like get like a chick. Yeah, as a kid, yeah. Mike, but I mean, we don't talk about no, them. no. That was the thing, every because everyone was always like, what's up with the eighty percent of people on there. Just with their dicks out. Is it that much? Not at the time. It like if you were like, to like yeah. not, not now. At the time, it genuinely. Why would you even like take it. that risk? It's a good point. And, and we were all. <laughs> it was just point. like a very normal thing. Yeah, you're just like just mm, skip. <laughs> yeah, you get yep. used to it. You would get you used to it. Yeah, to the... that's the thing. It's fun to troll people on there. You would never stop on the guy with his dick out and be like, "Let's troll this guy." Really? Yeah, you wouldn't you react. Should, dude. Yeah, no, be fucking no. Funny. No, because they also you just kill that guy's boner. Exactly. The like guy if you would did it right, like, yeah, so then it's like you're that. funny. Yeah, that'd be and then funny. just out of habit, you accidentally click skip on the one chick. Right. No, but it was, it was yeah, fun when you like happen. met like a, another group of people uh, on there. Like, oh yeah, we're just we just got home from f- the football game. Dude, Mike, on you Omega. fucking love socializing, bro. I do. You always I have. love it. And the craziest actually. part, just meeting random people is on Omega. that when I was a kid. I mean, that's not what I love, but uh, when I was a kid, I was so shy, dude. I was so shy. I was like, grab my mom's leg, hide behind it, shy. And then when I was like too old to do that, still just do the same thing. But I was just, eh, just bigger. Don't want to talk. Mm. Don't, I don't want to talk to anyone. Interesting. <laughs> Just bigger. I'd do the same thing. Just bigger. Just like by his yeah. mom's leg. <laughs> yeah, no, once your head gets butt level, you can't do that. So then what? Did she like start punting you off or what? No, she just said you need to not be so shy. Oh, really? No one wants their kid to be And you were like, shy. nice. Okay, cool. I'm yeah. Not. So then what? Uh, you started wearing purple pants. I don't know. Yeah, really I mean, you're wearing purple pants. You don't have a chance, or you don't have a choice but to be outgoing. I don't know, but I really truly became outgoing when we started this channel. Y- the YouTube channel? I was like super sociable before, but now with the YouTube channel, now it's like to me, I like nothing matters besides just like being the most best person, the best talker, the best uh, listener that I can be. But why? Yeah. Because more people come yeah, up yeah, and talk to you. Yeah, because of the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because of the experiences and like the, I mean, like I said, you know, heydays, we talked to a thousand people in one day. Mm-hmm. Who does that on yeah, the average? It's an incredible gift. So I've, I've chalked a lot of life experiences up, especially us being like Midwest nice to awkward scenarios where it just takes someone to have some initiative. And True. You know, a lot of situations in life, like you're being a little nice saying something to me and then I'm being a little nice and it ends up getting twisted and then no one gets anywhere. Because we were being too polite or like not speaking our Mm. mind in fear of being slightly rude. The less that you can care about what people think about you, probably the happier you'll be. But everybody cares about what people think of them to some degree. Yeah. This is a tough battle. What else? We got anything? One more? Um, Someone renamed our shop, I guess. I asked some of the suspects around here because Ken... It, were you, weren't I, you convinced that someone was rummaging through our mail? I got a theory. No so to yeah. no no to verify so a Google business there. location, Google mails a card uh-huh. to the address of that location. So you think every day someone would come by yeah. and, and hopefully find that? So the only thing that makes me think that is last week I got a, a, a mailer from Google that said, thank you for verifying your Google business location. Are we going to say the new so business That's the that only reason allowed? why I think somebody like rummaged through our mail for a couple days or it's somebody in this Bro. room. It's not any of us. What yeah. if it's your, that's what it. if it's, what if it's one of the mail guys? Could be him too, but I, I don't think so. Well, that, and it always confuses me too, because I, I remember one day we got a, a stack of them. Let's say we got nine and, and it said like big Ken's barbecue and foot massage, uh, the sore nipple boys, um, a bunch of like, I can't remember. Dirt my, bike you know, daycare. Yeah, Ev's yeah, dirt bike okay. daycare. Like, funny. um, two stroke mics. A two-stroke repair, you know, we, just random stuff. And I got a whole stack of them. And, and that's what it is. Google saying, verify that this is your business. 
and then I throw them all in the trash because obviously none of them actually are. I'm not going to verify it, but oh. just just to like be clear to the listener, uh, what this is is so in, on Google. I guess you can go to a uh, like an unclaimed business or just in general you can location. Create a location. location. You can create a location and name the location. So some kid or multiple people have found the shop and they will create a location and they'll make a funny name as it and then it's under their account or whatever and we can't seem to get rid of it it's weird yep. so anyways there's a new one and it is called ken's male strip club and vape therapy Oof. and it's pretty aggressive it's tough, yeah. prior to that it was ken's barbecue and foot massage which is hilarious you know little taste which is that's a, funny it's a play on an old meme it's funny the male strip club part a little tough, man. And the vaping. Yeah. Because uh, people got to drive by, you know, and like local people see that. Local people. Mad, they, and they like, probably think like, oh, they did that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's the only thing that I, I really care about. Person. But like, I don't really care about the other stuff. But, but that is the most insane part that for somehow, it's like the wild, wild west of Wikipedia. Back in the day when you could just go on Wikipedia and, and do change anything. stuff. That was only for a small moment. But that's how it is. Someone adds whatever they want, I guess, to the business. I don't know if you, I, I don't think you can do this anymore, but they do and then it just uplo- updates on all of google maps and apple maps That's across so the, crazy. the world yeah you know also like, you can put any phone number in there they don't verify that <laughs> really that somebody seems like insane, a, dude. A, a problem that somebody put like some random person's i think it must have been their friend and Bad i get idea. emails from that kid occasionally like <gasps> these people keep calling me get this <laughs> yeah. that's funny damn like, well, backfired dude. sorry listen man i'm this. i'm an innocent bystander in this too yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but I did talk with Google. Well, I didn't talk with them. I emailed with them. Brian's and tight I, with Google. Give I, him yeah. a call. And uh, they have like a legal department that's a third party. And that third party legal department is working on getting our shop address verified as a verified location. So nobody else can alter it other than our account. Wow. How long does and that take? Hopefully not too long. And then when you do it, it will like trigger a notification that someone's trying to falsify and a location, and then your account from Google could get suspended. Wow! So don't unless yeah, don't you have be messing the account, around. Then, then maybe just change it to something a little don't less mess strip clubby and vapey. Yeah, or you could just change it back to Big Ken's Barbecue and Foot Massage. That's funny. That's I cool think that's the one we would take because other than that, I was like, well, once we get a hold of it, it probably makes or just go to C Boys TV. Yeah, it makes the most sense. Just put it at C Boys TV HQ. It's not very funny, but makes the most sense. It's the most sense. <laughs> yep. You think it's one of us though, Ken? That was funny when you when you, the <laughs> way you sorry, uh, this camera just died. But uh, the way you darted your eyes around and pointed, I was like, "Whoa!" You know, other people. There's been other instances where people have denied claims, and then they suspiciously a little bit later, they're like, "Oh, that was actually me." Oh, yeah. like stealing the camera? Uh, no, like you know, moving the limo. Like people denied that. Oh yeah, I got oh, you yeah, guys both yeah. good with that one, dude. It's a good Brian, old just tell show. Ken you're the one who made the list. <laughs> Change it back. Sorry, right, yeah, dude. come on, dude. You know, you can never be too trusting around here, I guess. I'll give up <laughs> that the word. You can't say. be I'll too trusting in anything. That's true. In life. That's true. You always got to be just, you always got to be suspicious. Yeah. No. Keep your always friends close, sus- enemies closer, and your YouTube business partners <laughs> always <laughs> stay <laughs> suspicious. Your car keys are the closest as you possibly can. Yes. Ken yeah. Matthews. <laughs> suspicious. He's All like right. teaching his kids one day. Now, remember, kids, always be suspicious. (laughs) (laughs) Dropping them off at school. (laughs) Okay, Dad, we will. Teachers telling them something. I don't trust them. Ken, the teacher's like, what got into you, Davis? And he's like, I'm extra sus today. (laughs) Did you say Davis? Davis. Davis Davis Matthews. That's That's a pretty good name. Ken, top of your head, first child's name, go. Tyler. Yes, let's go, dude. Tyler Tyler Matthews. Matthews. Tyler Matthews. It's not bad. Pretty good name. I I like it. Pretty white name right there. Uh, all right, Ben, go. Dylan. Jonah. Oh, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I got a... Uh, You're Hugo, bro. You're I got a sailor. You really thought about this, huh, Mike? I thought about it once, once Ken said Tyler. I, I guess he's a sailor growing up and wearing purple pants. Sailor? <laughs> Wait, it's sailor. a girl oh, or a guy? Sailor, sailor? Ryan, go. How do you spell it? Either one. Uh, is that a girl or a guy? S A Y L O R. I'm just get quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you could have heard a pin drop after <laughs> Mike said his name. I said Bo. It could be Bo. It could be either. Say. Yeah, is that a name? Spell- that's like calling somebody like Yacht. No, that's that's like calling somebody like August 
or like Sunday. Well, you got to spell it weird. Is Sunday a name now? Uh, probably, dude. Everything's a name. At now. the worst day of the week, you're gonna name your kid after that Sunday. No, it's not Bruh. Sunday. You, you like Mondays better? Oh, than Oh, that's Sunday? true. That's true. Uh, that's yeah. true. That's true. Very true. Very true. Sunday. Say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, you Mike go. Mike is like, Ryan, I'm go. feeling that one out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he like had that, and him and Sydney were planning that name. No, like, luckily, yeah. Take that luckily, off. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> off the list. Yeah, luckily, it was first thing that came to mind, not what you actually want to do. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's son, Brian. <laughs> That's great. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Shout out to all the Brians out there. We'll Dude, see you next Brian's. week. All of our kids one day are going to be like, Daddy, am I a meme? <laughs> <laughs> yes, son. <laughs>